Number 1. Denny Hamlin The driver we all thought was going to be the strongest contender for the championship has finally arrived to the playoffs. Dover was a glimpse at his team's power, and momentum only continued to build from there. Hamlin delivered a masterful performance on Sunday at Kansas. The next three races are totally looking good for Denny as well. He's a threat to win at any of these tracks. I'm confident that Denny will make it to the final four. Number 2. Kyle Busch The 17 or so race winless streak will continue for Kyle Busch. This man is bound to find victory lane again this season, but the opportunities are winding down. We all know this is bothering him. It's no secret. The man has a passion for the racetrack that is unmatched. I just worry that this may be another lost year for Rowdy in regards for winning a second championship. Number 3. Martin Truex Jr. Hard to say that a 6th place finish at the track is an off day for a team, but this 19 team has set the bar really high. I look for him to con come out strong in the round of 8 to secure a spot to Homestead. It would be hard to imagine a championship race without all 3 Gibbs cars in the final 4. Number 4. Chase Elliott Another resilient battle for the 9 team. I don't think they're capable of outrunning the Toyotas in a winner-take-all event at Homestead, but then again, I didn't think the 22 team could pull it off last year against the Big 3. Moments like this will only continue to harden this team. They'll start Sunday's race only 6 points behind the 4th place cutoff. It will be a tight battle for the remaining playoff drivers these next 3 races. Number 5. Ryan Blaney I know the finish didn't show it, but I was impressed with Ryan Blaney at Kansas. He ran a solid race until he caught the wall, which actually ended up benefiting Chase Elliott and hindering his Penske teammate. But for his efforts, I placed him at 5th. It was a solid race to follow up his amazing victory at Talladega. Number 6. Kyle Larson Larson's finishing position was no indication of their speed at Kansas. He, as well as Blaney, ran a fantastic race, but once again, the team received a penalty late in the race, but Larson battled back and ran close to the top five on a long green flag run. If Larson can survive the round of eight, he could be the championship favorite at Homestead. But Larson does need to perform at his best these next three races. Is he up to the challenge? Number seven, Kevin Harvick. A weekend Harvick and the four team will soon want to forget. It was a solid effort for starting dead last, but Harvick was never a factor to win the race. This could be an interesting driver to watch at Martinsville. That track has been feast or famine for Harvick ever since joining Stuart Haas. That one race could set the tone for this team for the entire round of eight. Number eight, Joey Logano. The defending champ moves on, but not without a giant scare in a closing laps. The fact that he was able to save his car from hitting the outside wall was huge for Joey. It literally moved him on to the next round of the playoffs. Winning stage one was also extremely clutch as well. Without that, Joey has no playoff banners on his Mustang next weekend at Martinsville, a track that won him a championship last year. Number 9. William Byron I honestly feel bad for Byron. He may be a product of the on-track action we have this year, but he ran well enough to get him to the round of 8. Just one bad slip-up at Talladega cost him from moving on. Talladega may no longer be the elimination race, but it proved to be the lone factor Willie B didn't advance to the round of 8. Number 10, Brad Keselowski. This one is definitely a head-scratcher. Going into Kansas, a lot of eyes were on Joey Logano and Chase Elliott. Was Logano going to slip up enough and allow Bowman or Elliott to pass him into points? Instead, it was Keselowski who emerged as the bubble driver in the closing laps. Brad couldn't hold on to a top 15 finish and ended up falling out of the top 8 in points. Now he will be cheering on his Penske teammates to make it to Homestead. Number 11, Clint Boyer. Not a bad run for Clint at Kansas. You could tell he was giving it his all, but Stuart Haas just isn't the team they were a year ago. Clint couldn't muster enough of a points day to even come close to the cutoff, but at least he received good news that he'll have a ride for next year. It'll be interesting to see if SHR brings a new set of f fierce Mustangs to the track in 2020. Number 12, Alex Bowman. The showman was possibly the biggest letdown of the round of 12. From a great third place finish at Dover to wrecking the field at Talladega, then laying an egg in one of the biggest races of his career. I'm a believer in Bowman, I just don't think he'll ever break out of that mid-tier of drivers and emerge as a top-tier contender.